Hello friends, so today we are going to talk about the drugs used in constipation, right? This is very common problem nowadays, right? So we will learn how to manage this. First of all, how constipation occurs, right? Uh, okay, you can guess that in due to inadequate fiber, inadequate fluid intake, due to the inadequate exercises or immobility in our daily life, this might like these might cause the constipation so there are non pharmacological therapy or measures which can also like help to manage this this constipation this condition so what are the general measures then then that could be the adequate fluid intake high fiber content in the diet regular exercise regular bowel habit can also help in like uh, maintain this issue and also we can avoid the drugs which causes constipation so this becomes the non pharmacological therapy or mm, like things to manage this constipation non pharmacologically right then we have pharmacologically the group of drugs such as called as laxatives and they are also called as purgatives laxatives are milder in action and act by making the stool semi solid whereas purgatives are very stronger in action and that that provides watery and forceful evacuation of the bowel or stool so let's classify the drugs used in constipation if we practice this diagram once or twice it will be very thorough in our head we will learn the classification of constipation drugs used in constipation very easily so please follow my voice and let's see with a very milder or very very little information about the mechanism of action as well so here we can see at first bulk forming agent examples are bran spagula and cellulose so how does this act yes come on we can guess it very easily so bran bran and cellulose these are fibers these intakes like this retains the water this retains the water and swells up and in that condition it makes a very bulky stool right yeah and that will make the evacuation easy similarly these dietary fibers or like these undergo the bacterial de degradation which which releases the osmotically active products and that 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 also retain the water and increases the fecal mass and somehow it again helps in the evacuation of bowel so this becomes the mechanism very brief mechanism of bulk forming agents secondly we have got a stool softener so in its name we can see stool softeners examples are docaset or liquid paraffin docasets like softens the stool by emulsifying the colonic content and increases the penetration of water into the feces whereas liquid paraffin delays the absorption of water from the gut into the into the circulation right that is why there will be prolonged duration of water and that will somehow soften the stool and when the stool is softened of course we will get a very easy bowel or evacuation of the stool right okay so you see how easily we are getting through this practice it once or twice draw it then you will be very clear along with mechanism of action as well then in third group we have got osmotic laxatives examples are lactulose oh my god a very famous example which can be used in hepatic encephalopathy as well anyways we have another group like another drug sulfates sodium and magnesium sulfates are used hydroxides can be used which which like act osmotically by drawing water inside the lumen and again we discussed in this too as well what is the benefit benefits of water getting retained into the bowel and mixed with the stool okay it helps in easy evacuation such as talking about the lactulose only it is a semi synthetic disaccharide of fructose and lactose indigestible that gets broken down into the osmotically active products by the intestinal bacteria and which helps in drawing water inside the lumen and that would help in the bowel evacuation very easily right okay let's move forward we have got fourth one oh my god 
this is so heavy no 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 please don't get panic stay with me stay with me please so see look at this it's very easy the fourth group is stimulant purgatives right stimulant purgative in the name itself we can say stimulant so stimulant means it stimulate the peristaltic action of the bowel that intestinal we have the nervous system right autonomic that enteric nervous system sorry so it stimulates the enteric nervous system which stimulates the peristaltic action the way the peristaltic action will be increased the more will be the movement of the bowel and that will lead to the aboral region and helps in better evacuation of the stool so this also helps by this also helps by mucosal irritation then after it blocks the absorption of water from the intestine and increases the secretion from the outside into the intestinal lumen right and that was that helps in filling increasing the bulk as well so let's see examples so let's see the example bisacodyl and senna and cascara bisacodyl is diphenyl methane whereas senna and cascara are anthraquinones prucalopride prucalopride 5h4 antagonist sorry agonist then after castor oil which is a fixed oil let's take an example of bisacodyl so bisacodyl stimulates the peristalsis by mucosal irritation that is somehow activating the myenteric plexus of intestinal mucosa right then after it stimulates the colonic electrolyte and fluid secretion clonic full and electrolyte fluid secretion then after it inhibits the basolateral membrane the sodium and potassium atps at the basolateral membrane which reduces the absorption and in that in that way it is somehow stimulating the bowel evacuation right so these are the mechanism of action along with the classes of drugs used in constipation along with few examples and yes let me tell you few other uses of this drugs such as drugs used in constipation yeah we can say that, are these only used in constipation no of course there are few other uses and we are clever we do, you, you, we use nothing just for one thing we are human being and we are very clever right so uses are any other uses are uh, such as in bowel surgery preparation before the bowel surgery like to do colonoscopy right we can use such as lactulose in hepatic encephalopathy right i have also told you that it can be used in like less straining such as in a patient less straining of the stomach or the mucosa in the patient with hernia piles and fissures so this becomes the uses and mechanism of action of the drugs used in constipation so please follow me please subscribe the channel and for any comments and queries please do the comment below thank you see you again bye bye